Okay, I'm going to see if I can put this Piecade together. This retro arcade dream machine. So, let's see if we can open it up. Nice big instruction booklet. It's kind of a huge. Poster on one side. and instructions on the other side. Now, accessories, screen, fixings. The screen There we go. Display driver card and a screen. These are well labeled. They have what the box contains. The Piecade X hat, nuts and bolts, spacers, grommets, HDMI and USB cables, fixing corners, rubber feet, hookup wires. Okay, lots of goodies. In this box, we have. Power button, arcade buttons, joystick, and speakers. Speaker. Buttons. Joystick. And nicely packaged, I must say. Also, in here we have ooh, cabinet panels, the screen mount, screen cover, control panels, marquee acrylic, and artwork. This one's quite heavy. Okay, so here we have the panels. And the acrylic parts. Okay. It 
says take the cabinet and fixings box and remove the nuts bolts plastic cover corner brackets fixings okay so we start with the base plate This looks like the base plate. Okay, so we'll put those five on. Okay, I've got the five brackets on the sides. Now I'll just take panel B and screw it to those brackets. So we'll do that. Okay, I've got the brackets on panel C. Now we want to connect it to the side panel here so I'll screw that in Okay, I need to add a nut. Okay, starting to come together. Okay, I guess we need to peel off the protective plastic. Okay, I've got the corners started on the other side so I can peel that stuff off when I need to. But for now I'm just going to keep it clean. Okay, we're supposed to put this artwork face down then we're going to lay these plates this is the base 
one. there now we'll take out the screen there's the connector cable now so I need to peel this screen off And place we need the ribbon at the top. Like that. So now we have to take the driver board and attach it to its acrylic bracket, which I believe is this guy. Top two. Okay, so I'm going to attach the driver board to this piece. So here's the display driver bolted onto this top plate. It's using some very flat uh, screws here so that they don't dig into the display. The uh, acrylic here is slightly higher than the display so that goes here and we'll screw it down with some of these larger screws. Okay, the display part's all together. I just need to stick the ribbon cable into the connector. The display itself is sandwiched between these acrylic parts, but uh, it's not a tight fit, so there's a little bit of play in there. We'll see if we can prevent that from playing around later. Okay, that's connected, I think, and uh, I'll peel these off later. But right now, we want to put together the marquee, which is this piecade marquee, and uh, it'll be sandwiched between these two ac acrylic pieces. So next, we have to attach the panels, the side panel here, the display, and the marquee. So the display is, uh, this is the top, and it goes like this, I assume. And the marquee. Okay, we just have to screw that down. 
Okay, so that's screwed together. Got the display and the marquee. The next thing is to build the switch panel. So let's put this aside and bring out the switch panel. So we have a bunch of switches and parts. And the joystick. So I guess we have to peel off. Remove the chads. Okay, I guess we screw these together. Got a little dust cover. Now the switches. I guess they snap in. We're going to go with the color code on the stripes, so yellow, pink, blue. Try and separate. Okay, there are the buttons. While I'm here, I might as well put these little brackets onto the panel. Ooh, screwed my finger in place. Okay, so that's the front panel now. We still have some more switches to mount in the chassis. And there's going to be two on this front panel. And there's a power switch at the back here. It has a ring nut. Okay, so that's all the switches in place. That's the power switch. 